everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would show you guys what's in my pencil case. I really enjoy watching these types of videos because it's a good way to get to know the artist a bit better and I also find it really interesting seeing the different materials everyone uses. So yeah, um, without further ado, let's get into it. So this is my pencil case, um, I got it off of Amazon and it's got like a little side pouch here and then on this side I've just put some pins on it. Um, my pencil case before this one was a lot smaller so um, I bought this one so I was able to fit more in it and this way I won't forget anything when I go into uni, so yeah, but anyway, um, just to show you the pins that I have on here, so these four pins are all from Disneyland Paris, so I've got the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, I have this really cute stitch pin, which I honestly think is my favourite. <laughs> And then I've got Archimedes from The Sword and the Stone. And then I have this Scrooge McDuck pin as well. And then the other pins I have on here is this End of the Road pin, which is from End of the Road Festival. Um, you got it for free, I think, like when you spent a certain amount of money at the on the merch, so um, yeah. And then this, pin I actually got from a Paramore concert. Um, so these are the lyrics from Rose Coloured Boy. And then I've got this BTS um, ticket pin which came with the fifth membership kit. <laughs> I think so um, yeah. So I'm gonna start out with showing you what's in this pouch first. So in this pouch I keep my mechanical pencil. Um, so yeah, this is the pencil I use pretty much all the time when I'm doing sketches and drawing. Um, I think the only time I'd use another pencil is if it's for like really quick rough sketches. But um, yeah, so like it has a bit where you can um, extend more of the eraser at the end if you need to, just by twisting the end. And then got the lead on this side. Yeah, it's just really good. Um, I think this cost me like three pound something on Amazon. <laughs> so um. Yeah, but this is pretty much my go-to um, pencil to draw with. And then I also have some spare lead for my mechanical pencil. Um, so yeah, that way I'm able to refill it and everything. I used to use um, just like really cheap mechanical pencils and it was really bad. <laughs> Um, I didn't like how much plastic I was wasting, so I invested in the um, Faber-Castell mechanical pencil and I'm really happy with it and I've been using it all the time. So having these spare bits of lead is good and yeah. Then then I also have this pen, which was also from the um, BTS army membership kit. Um, yeah, it's just a regular um, ballpoint gel pen and it's really good. I don't really write with it that often, but I just keep it in here just in case. <laughs> and then I've got the small tip um, Faber-Castell fine liner. Um, this is pretty much the one that I use the most often, which is why I keep it in this pouch. So yeah, um, it's really good, especially when 
I'm doing outlines for watercolours because it's a permanent ink and it's just really good. And then I just have this white gel pen. Um, I do use this quite often to do doodles on black paper and just to add highlights to some drawings. Um, but it is actually running out of ink quite a bit and these are usually like quite expensive so that's a bit annoying but <laughs> yeah. So now I'm moving on to what I have in the big pouch. Um, I'm just gonna get everything out because I think that'd be a lot easier than um, taking it out one by one and showing you. Okay, so I've taken everything out, but I'm just going to quickly show you what I keep in this little pouch here. So I've got this um, eraser and I've also got this pencil sharpener. I usually like to um, keep them in this pouch just so that they're kept together. But um, yeah, by keeping them in here it just like reminds me to always bring them with me and everything because not like I will most often forget to bring at least one of these things. <laughs> okay so this is the pen that was at the top of all the other pens and pencils. Um, so this pen I actually use to write my notes a lot in lectures and um, yeah I just kind of use it as a regular writing pen. So it is a baby BT21 pen and it's just got a baby coir on it. And I just think it's so cute and I love writing with it and yeah. So it's a ballpoint gel pen and yeah, I just think it's really cute. <laughs> so I also keep my Crayola Super Tips in here. These are just like the colours that I use the most. Um, and I mainly use these for like when I'm bullet journaling and stuff like that. Then I also have a lot of Faber-Castell um, classic colour pencils in here. Um, I mainly just have like a variety of colours that I can just use whenever I want to. So yeah, these are like the main colours that I like to keep in my pencil case just because they're the ones that I am more likely to use. So yeah, I also just like to keep a spare pencil in here as well. This is usually the one I'd use if I'm doing like really rough sketches or layouts or something like that. Then I also have the rest of my Faber-Castell um, pens in here. So like there's ones that I use for calligraphy sometimes in my bullet journal, which is usually these two. <laughs> so B and C are the ones that I usually use. And um, these are like the thickest ones. And then we got a medium one, a fine one, and then an extra small one as well. And yeah, I pretty much use these um, like all the time. They're really good for doing line art um and yeah then i just have a ton of random fine liners as well by stabilo i'm hoping i'm saying that right but um yeah that's the brand name but the reason i have so many of these is because i usually lose them quite a lot and sometimes they can also wear down quite quickly so I just have like quite a few of them in my pencil case just in case. Um, but yeah, I just think it's good to have like quite a few spare fine liners. And then I have these brush pens, they're actually quite old. These were the, some of the first brush pens I got um, from Stationery Island. Yeah, I just found them on Amazon and I thought they were quite a reasonable price so I bought them and I think these two are the ones that have lasted the longest. So yeah. <laughs> and then I also have some Tombow dual brush pens as well. 
Um, yeah, so these are like the main colors I like to use. There is a pink one as well, I just forgot to show it, but um, yeah, uh, these are really good. I especially like using them for my bullet journal and yeah, they've lasted me quite a long time. Um, I also like to keep a ruler. Um, this is a flip out one, but that's only because a regular one won't fit in my pencil case. So that's why I have it at one of the folding ones. <laughs> but, um, yeah, <laughs> I just have it in there, like just in case I need it. Then I also have a dip pen. Oh gosh, you can't really see it <laughs> because of how dark it is. Oh my gosh. But yeah, as you can see, I've used it quite a lot, which is why um, it's been stained with ink. But yeah, I usually like um, to use a dip pen for my ink drawing. But yeah, I've used it a lot, especially the last term, because I'm actually using um, dip pen and ink for some of my drawings. So, yeah. And then, lastly, I have some paint brushes. Um, I always like to carry these with me for when I need to do um, painting. <laughs> and yeah, so these are the um, types of paint brushes I like to use. So I make sure I have like a variety of um, different brushes. So, yeah. So, that is pretty much everything in my pencil case and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>